I just wanted to talk a bit more about the car ride on the on the ring road trip. You're going to always want to fill up with gas, even when you think you don't need to. Uh, you you want to fill up. I'm I'm somebody who is pretty aggressive in that I uh, I let the tank run a little low. You don't want to do that. You don't even want to do half of that. Uh, as you get more and more into the ring road and go to the 12 o'clock to 4 o'clock area of the country, if the country is a clock, uh, you're really going to want to fill up as much as you can. One challenge is because the gas stations do not take uh, the credit cards that Americans have and some Europeans have um, that don't have pins on them, you're going to have to go inside and ask them to um, open up your particular pump so that you can then pump your gas and then go pay inside. The challenge is, as you get into the more rural areas, you're going to find that there's more self-service gas stations, and uh, as such, you're not going to be able to go in and ask the proprietor to, to do that and open the tank for, and open the pump for you. So you're going to want to um, make sure that if you see a regular gas station and not a self-serve, you want to pull in and get that uh, as quick as possible. It's also deceptive because some self-service ones are right next to restaurants or cafes, and you think that you could go in there and talk to them to open the um, the pump up, and they're not going to be able to because they don't actually own the, the gas pumps themselves. So you're going to always want to look for full service gas stations and not self service as you're going into the ring road. And again, there's more and more self service ones as you get into the rural areas. So you're really going to want to stop and get gas as much as you possibly can. And uh, now we're going to go get on the road and go to the airport and stop at the gas station twice.